I love my guitar. I love my cat. She doesn't love me. I love my daughters. I love KFC. I love my wife. I love lots of things. And you know what? That's a really good thing because love is a fruit of the spirit. Now for our kids Arvo talks, uh, we are going to be looking at the fruit of the spirit. We learnt about them last week. These are things that we grow when we follow Jesus. So when you follow Jesus, one of the things you grow is love. That means you become more and more loving. That's really good because I think the world needs more love. Uh, when Jesus was on earth, some people asked him a big question. They asked him, Jesus, what is the greatest commandment? In other words, what is the most important thing for us to follow? And Jesus said this, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and mind, and love others as much as you love yourself. So love is important. We're meant to love God with all our heart and we're meant to love others as much as we love ourselves. Jesus says these are the most important things we are to do, to love. And so it's important to remember though, that love isn't just a warm, fuzzy feeling where you get butterflies in your tummy when you see a cute puppy or a tasty bucket of chicken. Love is something we do. It's an action. We don't just feel love, we, we show love. It's not enough to say to someone, I love you so much. We need to put that love into practice. We need to show our love by listening to them, by helping people when they need it, by looking after them, by being kind to them, by sharing with them. Jesus wants us to show love to God and to others. And it can be hard, right? Sometimes it's hard to love others because other people can be mean or they can be annoying or they just may not be very lovable. Uh, so it's hard to love others and sometimes it's hard to love God and listen to what he says too. But the good thing is love is a fruit of the Spirit. That means the Holy Spirit, God living inside us, gives us the power to love. Gives us the power to love him and others. So the more we follow Jesus, the more we read the Bible, the more we pray, the more we hang out with other Christians and learn about Jesus, the more loving we become. We're meant to love. The Spirit helps us to love. And so I'm going to leave you with two questions today. Number one, how can you show love to God? Number two, how can you show love to others?